Hello, my at-home learners. Today, I'm going to show you how to draw a strawberry with just the type tool. We're going to type the word strawberry. We're going to separate all the text, arrange it so we've got some value, and then we're going to start to change the color. So I'm going to give you a quick how-to, and if you have any questions, you know how to message me. So this is an example of what the final is going to look like. We're going to start with a photograph of a strawberry, which I provided in the class folder on Schoology. And then we are going to take our type and we're going to start to layer the type over each other and flip around directions, overlap, and then slowly start to increase the overlap to create depth where we want it darker and then start to spread away where we want it to get lighter. So that when we're done, if we hide the original photo, it still looks like a strawberry. You can see it. But when we change all of it to color, it's much more dramatic. So that's where we're headed today. So first I have given you a photograph of a strawberry. And what I want you to do is notice that I gave you two layers. I gave you a strawberry layer and a type layer. You notice I have a couple extras just because I'm going to try to rush this video along. But on the type layer, what I'm going to have you do is take the type tool. Remember when using the type tool, you always click and let go. Never make a type, a type box, a text box. That just causes problems. So just click and let go with your type tool. And then you're going to type strawberry. Now, after you type strawberry, I'm going to make it bigger so you can see it. You need to think about the font. Do you want to pick a font that flows with the shape of the strawberry? So on the right hand side, you might find character which will let you change the font style. If you don't see that anywhere over here on the right, go up top to window, pull down to type, and then you can open up your character box, okay? So with this highlighted, I can just click in here, start at my A's, and I can just scroll through. Ooh, I like that, that looks pretty. So I can scroll through all of the options available to me. And when I find one that I think looks like a strawberry, I feel like this looks like a strawberry, I'm going to stop and say, OK, that's my winner. So move him back out of the way. So now I have strawberry. I'm going to leave it black, not a problem. I'm going to copy it just because I'm going to forget what font that was. So I'm going to leave that over there. Now, I'm going to take this one that I just copied and pasted. I'm going to right click on it, I'm going to create outlines, then I'm going to right click again and I'm going to ungroup it. Now while it's all still highlighted together, I'm going to control C to copy and control V like Valentine to paste. I'm going to do this a few times. So now I've ungrouped my text, I've pasted it a few times, I can move it out of the way if I want to. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to layer my text on my actual strawberry. So I'm just going to click a piece at a time, and I'm going to start by following this bottom edge of my strawberry. So you can try to make it still say strawberry, and you can slowly overlap and hug that bottom edge. You may get to one like this A. The A doesn't angle right for me, so I'm going to use my black arrow to rotate it until it sits a little bit more flush on that bottom. You can also use the arrow keys on your keyboard to subtly scooch things around. So again, I'm going to rotate and here I am using my arrow keys to move that around. So I went ahead and I already did this part. Do, 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 do. So here you can see it clearly spells out strawberry. And I didn't edit them much at all. I barely overlapped them because I wanted you to be able to see what it looked like when you kept them pretty spacious. Here, this is my second copy of strawberry. That entire chunk right there actually says strawberry, but you can't tell because I overlapped it a whole bunch to try to get that depth and really shade it in and make it solid. So you're gonna go through and it is a time consuming process, but once you get a rhythm going, it's not that hard. This is where you just kind of zone out on some good tunes and do this while you're jamming to some music. So I'm going to 
act like I've done all this and I have covered my page, everything's happy. Notice that little chunk of an H that hangs out there. That's okay. I'm not overly concerned about it. So what you're going to do is you're going to fill in the entire strawberry with the type that spells strawberry. And then you're going to systematically go through, let me copy and paste this. Let's say I've done a really bang up job here and this looks good. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through, highlight letters, take my eyedropper, pick up the color that I want that to be. So let's do that to a few of these. Now remember your placement. If you have trouble grabbing something because somebody else is sitting on top of it, you may have to right click and change your layer order. So I can make all of those on the bottom, that light red color, and now you'll start to see the strawberry come through. If I want to show one of these little seeds, I may have to take one of my letters, make it teeny tiny, and make it that seed color. I'll drag it down here so you can see it. So that you can see it pop out. So you're going to have to think about scale, placement, rotation, and how you edit things. And that's pretty much all there is to it, just rearranging text, changing scale, changing direction, and changing color so that when you're done, you have a strawberry. If you have any questions, like I said, let me know.